Well, here we are. Power outage number whatever. I don't know about you folks, but these outages are for some folk infuriating. So yeah, I was saying this load shedding South Africa. What are we gonna do, man? It really can't go on. Not with some or other intervention. Nothing changes unless you do the work. But what do we do? Because this load shedding is a great equalizer because everybody is feeling the effects of the load shedding. Whether you live in a squatter camp or in Santon. Okay, maybe exclude Santon because they've probably got their own generators. But the more middle class and the lower class folks. What are we going to do about it? South Africa. What? I've got a few ideas, but I did post them on Facebook. Got a few engagements, but just generally people not really showing very much spunk, man, or interest even. Yeah. Before I come back to you, I'm just sitting here wondering how many, how many folks have got generators in their houses? Is there, anybody know through the number? And then again, how many folks have got solar power? Is solar power effective? One reads, one reads the adverts and the different companies I see some of the sales conversations on Facebook, but um, just for example, I've got a two bedroom house, kitchen, entrance hall, one bathroom, all the basic um, electrical stuff, deep fryer and a kettle and toaster, microwave, fridge. How many solar panels, for example, would I need? Now, perhaps I'm not technical, or perhaps I don't really have any working knowledge of solar power or basic electricity. How do I go about choosing a solar panel? How many would I need? I'm sure these are questions a lot of you guys are having. Has anybody built their own generator, for example? That would be interesting to talk about. Perhaps somebody that's made their house energy efficient. Um, you see, folks, this power outage, I think, switches our brains off as well. South Africa? We better make a plan, man. Every single South African needs to get together and, you know, I've seen a lot of things on Facebook. People suggesting tax revolts and walks to Parliament and I don't know, eh? Yeah. Protesting and those protest marches and so much of our past, personally, I think the most effective means of protest would be a citizen-run, citizen-organized stowaway.
obviously the challenge is always, will everybody comply? Well, that's an unknown. But is everybody affected by the problem? Yes. Yeah, an organ a citizen organized stay away. Just everybody just come together, make a date, and folks, don't start the car. And actually, if you really want to make an impact, switch our mains. And that you can always do a bit of planning with, in terms of your deep freeze and your frozen meat maybe and most folks have got a bra. I'm sure a lot of folks have got castos. But I think if we, if, if all the citizens of South Africa just switched off, how is, how is our ruling party government going to retaliate? How? However, start marching on buildings and that, and then it involves right police and bad media, people can get hurt. I think folks are really hurt enough with the outage. A tax revolt. Personally, I need, a, I need how it will be practically implemented. implemented. Number one, I don't know a lot about tax. Number two, tax involves what? VAT, income tax, company tax, tax on electricity, tax on petrol. Which tax are you talking about when you talk about a tax revolt? Because if you think about it, a voluntary stay away at home will stop any VAT being collected that day. To stop taxes being collected that day. Your labour won't be available anymore. But of, of course, voluntary, but in order for such thing to work, I think it needs to be everybody. Or at least 95% of the people. You know, families can make plans, friends can make plans. Friends can cover each other, some friends have got generators, some gun have generators. Some people are better off than others. But surely this is the one opportunity that South Africa is getting. In fact, it's a second chance. For us South Africans, all of us, everybody that resides in the borders of South Africa, who carries a South African passport and is born in South Africa. Those are the people I'm talking to. Is it complicated? Yes, of course it's complicated. Is it going to hurt? More than likely. Probably more to some than others. But the truth is, the problem is far worse. Eskim having a total blackout is, is... I mean, I can't imagine. I really... Really can't imagine. So anyway, guys, I just thought I'd I'd open the subject, and I'll probably be making more videos. And unfortunately, I must say that this is was not my intention to talk about Eskim in my blogs, but the situation doesn't leave us any other choice. Catch me for the next video. Please like, share. And most importantly, subscribe. Mr. Gavin Poole, YouTube channel. Sure, cheers. Bye-bye. Have a good night.